Hello again everyone, my name is Yog Dog, and welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron for Old World Blues. <clears throat> In this one, uh, we're going to be continuing with our Lost Hills chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel campaign. Um, just continuing to build up our forces, ready for what's probably going to be the inevitable confrontation with the New California Republic. Um, I think, however... Uh, is this gonna cause me problems? I hope it doesn't. I loaded the wrong save up. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. I completely forgot that I needed to load that save instead. Alright, the reason I need to load that save is I'm gonna send our armor instead. Which, uh, do 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 would give a reduction in cost for the next power armor tech, which would be great. Trusted personnel would give three times 50% uh, research bonus for land doctrine, which is nice, but I'm gonna try the armor. I have a feeling that's gonna be the best one to go for here. All right. Uh, principal roots. I hope this just stays and doesn't disappear. It's not like I produce power armor particularly quickly, so uh, let's see. Let's go platoon training. That gives division organization increase, which is nice. I'm going to go for the next power armor attack as well. So already up to 421 power arm. Uh, we produce three a day, which is pretty decent. Okay, victory over MacArthur. Let's go the Immortals coup successful. And uh, let's keep recruiting our Paladins. And we're gonna go help the Shi out, well, San Francisco chapter now against Eureka. Send volunteers. Ten units of paladins. So I'll be able to recall from Seattle, but Yellowstone may take a while uh, to conquer for the Sisters of Steel, I mean I'm assuming they're going to end up declaring war eventually, but um, we'll have to see on that one I do need to keep an eye on the Sisters of Steel because if a nation forms up in the north here, it can be a, uh, a huge problem in the test run I did the Britannia Empire ended up forming and just completely eating up in the north and war has kicked off between the NTR and Caesar's Legion. Okay, that allows me to recall from Seattle when I've got enough thingy anyway, uh, political points. Um, I think we may go for more industry tech. So debts of the quartermasters, which would remove the remains of nightly confusion, uh, which means our research speed, war support, and factory output would all be normal instead of having a pretty big reductions. I need some more manpower. I'm just going to try and break into their capital here. Do 
Do do do do do do do do do do Could you go, uh, should I go advanced scavenging? Just give some army experience, which is nice. Alright, so we call from Seattle. So I only need to do it from Dallas and Fairview now. That's a big max in expedition. Uh, ooh. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I keep the Provisional Republic of Texas alive now, it doesn't really matter. I'd like to send help, but um, I need to deal with Eureka here. Which is going to be easier said than done. That's advanced scavenging. Let's go for greater reforms. That gives us some more political influence, which would be nice. I may, instead of taking here, go for an attack on this position instead. And I am probably going to up the infrastructure, the radar, and I guess an airbase. Some bunkers. Just make it as secure as possible. Uh, I need to import some scrap metal. We'll do that from the Washington Brotherhood. Yeah, the terrain here makes it really bad for just outright attacks. Go on, Max, next expedition. Don't let us down. I can't help you out this time. Let's go division recovery right next. Okay, we seem to be getting somewhere here. They have super sledges by the looks of things. I'm going to commitment to purity, which gives us additional uh, additional population, which would be very helpful. Okay, we're breaking that line. I don't like this truck. Fallout free Fallout 3 OST. Alright, we can research scavenge power armor. Sounds like a good plan. They keep getting reinforcements in time, but they are taking heavy losses in the process here. Okay, I think the Alamo chapter just lost, unfortunately. Let's go commitment to duty. Yup. I don't know if I could have helped them enough to win there anyway, though. And I got what I needed out of them, so. Uh, if I go check. I 
So I'm not going to get send it west, but that's okay. Well, yeah, I'm almost not going to do send it west so I can get a Texco oil rig. Okay, now we engineer for an assault onto their capital. Once our forces are in position, we're going to launch the assault. is they have so many forces there the attack is going to be pretty rough okay the outcasts have been victorious over in the capital wasteland uh, but first thing I'm going to do before I do continue down that route is plasma weaponry schematics and start researching plasma weaponry ASAP Could. No, that's not going to work. I need to be very careful. I can't just expend tons of manpower here. They seem very difficult to deal with, Eureka. I could force attack, but I don't like cannot retreat whilst attacking. That often ends in destroyed units, and my power dens are irreplaceable, so it's not worth the risk. This is my only really attack vector now, because I only have one tile to attack onto risk group. Wouldn't really be realistic. Okay, uh, let's go Outcast Victorious, that's going to give another Paladin group, the more of those I get the better. Alright, let's construct an administration centre. Let's send our armour over to the uh, San Francisco Brotherhood. Recon infiltrators gives a uh, reconnaissance, decryption, etc. I'm gonna go warrior code next. Just soft attack, hard attack, etc. is all really helpful. Okay, we are grinding them down. Uh, same as what happened in the previous campaign. Uh, the Republic of the Rio Grande has declared war on Caesar's Legion, which means the Rio Pact is going to overwhelm Caesar's Legion. Or well, this time, Caesar's Legion isn't doing anywhere near as well. How many times can I say Caesar's Legion in a minute's time? Hopefully, we get victory in the Commonwealth. I would gain manpower from this at the very least. Okay, let's start getting plasma weaponry tech. Would be just over a year, but it's worth starting the research now.
Oh, it's getting close. Shows just how strong they are. Even my elite units are struggling to break the deadlock. Council reforms, let's get about next. Gives another administration slot so I can build more stuff as well. Green solicitations, yeah, let's do that, more population. Deploy our new powered in units. Still need to go down the route here because I need to get overcharged ammunition, custom built capacitors. They buff all weaponry. Uh, Lloyd's Ministry is unfortunately taken over. It looks like, as usual, Big Grass is going to win. Which is a shame. I was hoping one of the other factions would win. Nothing else, we're getting veterancy on our unit leader, so that's something. How much power armor are we burning through? Probably a fair bit. Do, do, do. I'll give more war support and army experience. Let's get a little bit of underground stuff for up. Speaking of which, I should continue expanding the underground as much as we can. Arroyo must have lost, uh, not Arroyo, Eureka must have lost a lot here. 6k. If I did hit a fence here, it would do enough to break them, but I'd lose a couple of powered in units in the process. I really need them to reinforce my assaults. If I go down below 9.5k, I'm going to stop the attacks. Close. Okay. Just about did it in time. Alright. Who's at war now? Sisters of Steel aren't. Washington Brotherhood aren't. The Maxon chapter is. Uh, Maxon's actually joined the Song of Steel. I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, fancy new power armor tech, scavenged power armor, very nice. Let's go for the next one. And let's go for underground training facilities, I need to get those. I 
New power has emerged in Utah. So I need to help the Washington Brotherhood ASAP. I think the Max and Chapter should be okay. If they can't win that war, then I don't know what they can win. Going to run the ground expansion, I think. So I've managed to reach up to 12 units of paladins, which is good. So they've gone down the good route the humming hummingbirds have, which is why they've formed the Songs of Steel faction. Um, anyone else in it? Or is it just those two? Just those two. The Royal announces alliance with the NCR. So the NCR has New Reno, Arroyo. Nevada Rangers, Vault City, uh, the Packers, yeah, they're pretty big basically. They're going to be difficult to deal with in our later war. More underground construction slots, sounds good to me. Right, so I'm gonna help out the she as much as I can. Can I still send volunteers to you? I can. Now she's gonna go to war against Circle Junction next. Intriguing. I do need to raise some just standard power armor formations ASAP. Let's just go with four of them for now. Let's go for training facilities. You can have five training facilities, each one gives plus 2% attack and defense. So plus 10% total is pretty damn huge. I could just scavenge some power armor here. It would not go amiss in the slightest. What else could I do? Do 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 do. Sophisticated robotics tech, electronics tech, um, intermediate air, sophisticated vehicle. Isn't the one that gives? Uh, there it is. Sophisticated exploration tech. Uh, sorry, exploitation, not exploration. Um, which allows me to go for the later uh, agricultural techs, which give more manpower. I've stressed it many times, and I will continue to do so. We need all the manpower we can get for the world NCR. All the manpower we can get. Do 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 do. 
I can't see the San Francisco chapter holding out. It's possible, but unlikely. Uh, just too much of a front for him to hold. That said, the focus I do will end up bringing all of this under my control, so it might be doable. Right, let's get the exploitation tech that I just mentioned for aforementioned reasons. Let's start moving some of our factories underground as well. Let's go power armor uh, research speeds. That'd be quite nice to have. Don't think I'm going to be getting any more powered ins from this one, alas. Let's put another administration center on the ground. I think I have to be careful about how much I do with the bunker here, because I do want to make sure that uh, I save my manpower and there's a chance I lose manpower each time. Okay. Not sure there's anything else I really want to go down there. The army experience would be nice, I suppose. If I could send volunteers to Caesar's Legion, I would, although it may, well, definitely would cost me quite a bit of manpower. But I think I could engineer some, some pretty good uh, surrounds, some encirclements. Washington Brotherhood. Didn't realize that was a thing. Right, you're definitely going Pain Train and Mysterious Stranger and Inspirational as well. So exactly the same traits what my other leader also had. I think, think once I've got all of my training facilities built, I'm not going to build anything else in the bunker. Getting another research slot would be nice, but and some of these buffs are going to be cool, I'm sure. Oh god, that's pretty good. Infantry... Ah. Okay, so all core land of the Sisters of Steel is owned by Lost Hills, are subject to our allies. That one doesn't do much. I need to keep the Guardians alive for that one. That one doesn't do anything. Monstrous plants would be nice. Our technology sentinel combat system. What 
in this heart do? An exoskin armored special forces. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be in the reward text here somewhere. So special forces recovery rate increase. Not sure what the other one is, but I'm sure it'd be a really useful tech to have as well. Another training facility. I think we only need to build two more after this one. So this is of steel is fine. Are you going to justify on anyone else? We only need them to go after Yellowstone. Okay, well we've ciphers as well. They sure are. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's going to be out for this episode of Heart Time for Old World Blues. Pretty quiet one, all things considered. We did help the San Francisco chapter out, but not really too much else. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the Washington Brotherhood, the Sisters of Steel, and the Maxon chapter, uh, and hope things go well for them um, there. They are just fine on the circle junction, so... Uh, after that... Well, we're gonna have to do something about the NCR soon, I think. But we'll sort that in the next few episodes. Thank you very much for watching this series, everyone. And I hope you all have a good day. I will catch you in the next one.